line. The minute that them folk called your phone to see if you were going to pay for the funeral, you blocked them. That's not real, cuz. On God, that's not real. You ain't straight. You ain't straight. That's them folk. Come on now, cuz. You, 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 you pluck. On God, that ain't straight, cuz. You only trying to act all real. You post this car. Talking about some long live him, bro. You ain't do nothing, cuz. On oh, God. And you ain't getting them chains, cuz. You can't get them chains. There's no way you can get them chains. It ain't no way that's happening. Come on now, fool. You tripping, cuz. Thought we were just gonna let that go, cuz. No. It's over. You play. And we don't need your money, nigga. We don't need your money to pay for his front nigga. He was going to get buried. Either way, it's just a point that you supposed to be his CEO and you supposed to be this, this, and that, and you don't lie like that, cuz. How do you even feel real with yourself? It ain't straight, cuz. You shouldn't even feel straight with yourself. Oh, God, you shouldn't, cuz. I, I ain't nothing with you, cuz. Then I hope you ain't talking about give you the time because you think we finna use them to, to, to cool video. No, no, man, we ain't finna know. We don't wanna be a part or nothing like that. Come on now, bro. You, 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 you that, that one right, bro. On oh, God, that one right. You ain't straight, cuz. You got on the internet. Bro, when they text you and ask you about Scott Funeral, cuz, you told them folks that, that, that Keisha birthday coming up. Gang, y'all rich. Y'all can celebrate her birthday any day. Come on now, cuz. You playing with my brother like he just dead. Like, come on now, cuz. You playing with what, bro? My brother just ain't no nigga you can... Nah, bro, my brother means something to us, nigga. What you mean? This ain't that and you not getting them chains, bro. You it's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And we got Big Scar's family responding to Gucci Man, saying that he hasn't sent no money for the funeral of Big Scar and claims that he asked for his 1017 chains back. In case y'all don't know, Big Scar is an artist based out of Memphis, Tennessee that signed the Gucci Man's 1017 label. He recently overdosed on fentanyl, which is believed to be cut in a Percocet he may have took. And, you know, me personally, you know, I sat back and look at the story and it just doesn't add up to me. I mean, dude said that uh, Gucci man, you know, said he ain't giving him the money because, you know, his wife's birthday is coming up. That just don't sound right to me. And, you know, Gucci man's wife, Keisha, responded with re receipts saying that they sent them like ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for the funeral, which, you know, makes sense to me. Like, you know, I'm not saying that everything dude said was a valid, but you know, that part just didn't math up for me. And you know, uh, at this point, I mean, I don't think he cared about the change like that. I'm sure he asked for it once. Like, you know, I, I doubt he's gonna keep asking. I mean, dude's a multimillionaire. He can probably buy thousands of 1017 chains, but you know, that part don't really sound right neither. But if he got the receipts to prove that Gucci said that, you know, via text, email, et cetera, then, you know what I'm saying, Gucci all the way wrong for that. And, you know what I'm saying, need to make that right. But, you know, until then, we're going to sit back and see how this plays out. You know, I just started getting into Big Scar, like, probably like a month before he passed, like around November-ish. And, you know, the 1017 mixtape, then they dropped the So Icy Boys. You know, he was all over that, and he started to grow on me. And by the time, you know, I got hip to him, started getting familiar to his songs. You know, when his voice comes on, you can recognize the artist boom you know what i'm saying this happens so you know uh i've been listening to so icy damn near every day by the way so that new 1017 label is looking pretty hefty right now it's interesting that they keep signing uh artists from memphis because right now i seem like memphis is on fire so you know we're gonna see what holds but like i said if you agree or disagree let me know in the comments and of course if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe